Hey there guys, BTBS here, and as some of you may have seen from some of my previous videos, I was at the Gadget Show live a few days ago. I had a fantastic time, thanks for asking. The event kicked off with a live show in the enormous super theatre full of humour and plenty of pyrotechnics. And there was loads of people there, including the presenters, was it uh, Jason, John and Pollyanna, obviously. Then there was this epic beatboxer guy known as Shlomo, with a one-man band, and he like sampled his own voice on a mixing board to get a choir-like effect. Then he stayed on stage doing the music whenever they needed it. Jason brought out his mechanoid brother. God, that thing is creepy. Can you say Uncanny Valley? And then there was a brilliant light uh, light show performance by Feeding the Fish, which I managed to film some of. Go and check out the video, links in the description. Then uh, an appearance and demonstration of an awesome new gadget by a pendulum uh, uh, guitarist. But parent, parent, I'm going to get this name wrong, so, you know, Perida uh, Gwynedd or Perry, the uh, pendulum guitarist, that guy, <laughs> showing off a prototype guitar and he played samples of the acoustic music from it and then uh, later on he appeared again with some gadget sluts who played their guitars with like angle grinders. Yeah, lots of sparks. And uh, me and a few friends got to meet up with Perry after the show. Uh, this isn't me by the way, I don't appear in any of these pictures. Uh, he seemed like a really nice guy and he's, God, he's got a really firm handshake as well. Uh, the presenters demonstrated some augmented reality devices for like smartphones and tablet PCs, and then they gave them away by a way of a golf club by just whacking them into the crowd. And they finished off the live show with a customized version of 12 Days of Christmas with everything replaced with gadgets, and they gave away a bunch of stuff at the end as well. Now onto the exhibition floor, where everyone was there, except 2K Games. I wanted to play Bioshock Infinite. <laughs> anyway, uh, me and Atomic Games accosted a few stalls and got some interviews with people like Windows and Overclockers. Uh, links in the description, go and check them out. I got a few uh, pictures of some awesome stuff, such as this guy who was making industrial scrap sculptures of uh, aliens and predators from Aliens and Predators, and Aliens vs. Predators as well. Don't forget that one. Underrated film. And um, and he was using like um, cogs and gears and like bike chains to make them, and he made this awesome transformer. This thing is as tall as me. It must have weighed like a thousand pounds. And, uh, yeah, it was selling for, like, 800 quid. And this guy was making them right there in front of everybody, just building them from the bottom up. Uh, we dropped in on the PlayStation booth and checked out some of the gaming rigs they had, and, uh, this guy lost his steering wheel. Atomic Games got really a little bit too friendly with some creepy alien guys, and Overclockers had a vast amount of impressive-looking shiny things on show, and some nice cases as well. We played around with uh, nano dots, these powerful little magnets used to make sculptures. Once again, links in the description, go and check it out. Nothing impressive in that one, though. Uh, I checked out the dedicated gaming booth and got some pictures of the huge posters they had. Look at the size of those screens. Uh, Turtle Beach had some great stuff on show, some uh, gaming rigs, testing out the headsets, that sort of thing. But personally, I preferred the artwork on their walls. We saw battling robots being controlled by five-year-olds with spike pits. Uh, there was these awesome uh, things called Attacknoids. They're like uh, RC spider bots and they fired red discs at me. Um, I took a little look at some land sailors and then once...